The spectators enjoyed a very fine women's final. Now it's a bowl full of great expectations. As center stage go Nepomuceno of the Philippines and Drew Highland of the USA. The first and second qualifiers, Nepomuceno, the bowler of the week. He had 400 pins to spare in qualifying. So let's meet the player. From Denver, Colorado, playing in his first World Cup, 31-year-old Drew Highland. And look at his three-game high, 8-5-5. Five, five. Drew Highland, though, will have to go some to beat Hang Nepomuceno. Here he is in his eighth World Cup, and he's won it three times. From Metro Manila, he's 39, and 20 years ago, at 19, he was the youngest ever World Cup winner. Accuracy is his forte. Peng very seldom misses. And we join the game with Peng about to bowl his third frame. Drew already having played three frames. There you go, a strike for Peng. The USA trying to hold on to this Men's World Cup. Pat Healy won it last year in Sao Paulo, Brazil. And girl, Nepa Miseno, father and coach of Peng. He's been coaching him now for 26 years. Together, they've had a lot of success. Peng on a double, going for three in a row. And duly obliging, Peng is now struck in the second, the third, and the fourth frame, having opened up with a nine spare. So. A nice early lead for Peng after his four frames. In his semi-final, Drew Highland here had six strikes, but admitted to being very nervous. And against the great man from the Philippines, maybe those nerves are continuing into the World Cup final. He looked a little bit baffled there with the shot on lane 12. The ball seemed to stay on a little bit longer, going longer down the lane and he's suffering with Peng having three in a row. Made a valiant effort to pick off the spare. Just missing. Drew takes a deep breath, trying to regain his composure. But he hits that shot. He's got to find something fairly shortly. He's Rolled some very poor shots in the last few frames. Drew there totally missing his line, sending it way to the edge of the gutter, not getting it back, and the 1 2 4 remaining. Should be a simple enough fair for Drew in his fifth frame. And it is. And the applause of the crowd will encourage him, and here comes the great man. Now, just have a look at uh, Nepa Miseno when he plays here. It looks as though he's off balance, but of course, it's an illusion, or it must be, or he wouldn't be three times a World Cup winner. Watch. Yeah, seemed to step, step off his shot on most occasions, but that really is, it's, it's an action from him, a body action, when he knows it's a good shot. So that's four in a row. After five frames, start with a nine spare, and then strike second, third, fourth, and fifth, and piling the pressure on Drew Highland. A winner of the World Cup in three different decades. That got him into the Guinness Book of Records. Pang Nepomuceno. <laughs> and he's still the Lord of the Lane. Tremendous shot from Pang there in the sixth frame, giving him five strikes in a row, and another solid shot, and a healthy lead at this stage of the final. Well, after four frames, it's over double scores, and there's still a couple of strikes there to be bonus for Nepo Miseno. Now, can Drew Highland do it? He's got the game. He's proved that in the past. Now, Paul, what is it? Is he nerves? Is it the line? Is he changing? Is he not starting as left as he was? I think it's a combination of everything. Nerves. Uh, looking at the way his ball is working, 
it looks like the lane may have changed from his previous game and I think it's a little easier on the left hand side also terrific spare as a crowd pleaser is Drew has been all week long a fantastic piece of skill there from Drew just sending the ball between the one and two pins and clipping out the 6-10 he's really fired up now Nearly gets it right on lane 11. His best shot of the final so far. Leaving the four pin standing. Looked good all the way, but just hooked that little bit too much right at the end. Neatly takes the spare. Just on his immediate left there is Mike Lastowski, past ABC Masters champion and his coach. Father goes over to have, again have a word, but look at that friendly, fatherly pat on the shoulder from Ankle to his son Peng. Six in a row for Peng. Strike in the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. And just there is the seventh frame. See how the father almost furtively walked behind him, whispered something. A very quick player is paying up quickly for the spare. But failing to convert the 6 8. But he still looks in a reasonably comfortable position. What a great player. What an opponent for the American to meet. Drew will have known all about him. He'll have read all the stories, all the magazines, seen all the videos, and he will know coming to this World Cup in Northern Ireland about the Philippines. Still really struggling on that right-hand lane, coming up heavy onto the nose and leaving the 3 6 10. And at this stage, Drew is really playing for pride he's a lot of things behind Peng but he's going to finish out the best he possibly can Drew really up against it here over 70 pins in the rears but he will want to go out with his pride intact and there's a lot of that about he punches thin air with both hands. Crowd really on his side, and he thanks them for it. Pang leaves one. The applause is muted. For these bowlers and the place is packed with people who play internationally and in league bowling. And they know a good one when they see it. And he was already into his Chuck Berry walk away before the pin fell down. Pang Nepomuceno. This man in his life in 10 pin bowling has won something like 120 competitions, international and domestic. What a record. And that's a strike in his 10th frame. First ball in the 10th frame, perfect strike on the left-hand lane, and lane 11, championship pair. Follows it up with another perfect strike. And now he's happy. That's the first time he's totally relaxed since he began. A very religious man is Pang Nepomuceno. Prays a lot before and during every game. Leaving in the final frame, the one, three, six, seven count for a game of 243 in the World Cup final for Peng Nepomuceno.
Drew Highland then to finish out. The USA won the Men's World Cup last year. They've won the Men's World Cup and indeed World Cup in general more often than any other single nation. And they've been well represented by this man. And he's got his fans in the crowd here at the Dundonald Ice Bowl just outside Belfast, Northern Ireland. Yeah, certainly a crowd pleaser, as we said earlier on. And he has changed line just a little bit the last couple of frames. It has worked, but too late. <laughs> Leaving the four pin there on his bonus shot in the 10th frame. So if he spurs this, he'll have a game of 172. Nice, Sydney. He's done it. He applauds the crowd. They applaud him. The man who goes into the Guinness Book of Records yet again is Kang Nepomuceno, the first man ever to win a World Cup four times. What a record. Kang, congratulations. How do you do it? I don't know. I just bowled great this week. <laughs> you just bowled great. Now listen, you've got the fourth champion, the World Cup title. Are you going to come back for number five? I don't know. Uh, it all depends on the Lord, because I have to give credit to God. <laughs> You're very moved, obviously, and, and so are we. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, Drew, you've done wonderfully well, haven't you? My goodness, 71 countries, and you got here into second. Uh, yeah, I had a great week. It was fun. The, the people here have been so great. I mean, there's the camaraderie and... Irish people have been so hospitable, and, and Pang deserves it. He bowled, he, he lapped the field all week. He bowled great all week, and uh, I just hope that one game I could come out here, but once again, he outperformed me by a bunch, and uh, I'm just, I'm happy that I uh, bowled well and had a good time and met a lot of people. There they are, the top eight bowlers in the world. And at the top of the ladder, the great Nepomuceno, not for the first time, and probably not for the last. Time for us then to take our lead. From Jimmy McGee and Paul McGee, thanks for your company for the Bowling World Cup. And we sign off from Northern Ireland as the champion of champions, the Treasure Prize.